This is the Felder Profile 45 Format 4 Shaper I'm going to be running today on some shiplap joints for the back of a walnut cabinet. These particular boards will have a dado on one side and then the other edge would have a dado on the other opposite side so the boards would lap over. I've got eight boards of walnut approximately 30 to 32 inches long to cut. I'm using a 160 millimeter uh, dado head here that had on a 30 millimeter spindle. This is a two-piece dado head where you're going to run shims to increase or decrease the width of the cut. This particular one has, for each of the two halves, it has two spurs, where, which are a little bit more than spurs. They're a 45 degree bevel that gives you uh, the wall cut. And then you've got two, also these are shear face, and then you've got two shear face knives, one on opposite sides for each of the two halves. Uh, this particular project, which has this half inch deep, and the board is four tenths of an inch thick, so I'll, ha I'll go halfway through with a two tenths of an inch depth of cut. I have a Agner tension device on this particular one that will give me some side pressure on the board as I'm doing my cut. Now I'll try to leave this top lid open for you on the uh, on this part of the run just so we get some more light in there and you can see what's going on. This is an interesting tension device. It's got a spring load on it and you've got a, an upper wheel that I'm not using at the moment and the lower wheel is set in to give me about two or three thousand squeeze of the board against the back fence here so we'll have an even cut. Now when I get going for the final run I would bring the uh, I would bring this tension device on the back part here down and position it to keep the board from riding up as I make the cut. So I've got side tension and overhead tension. But I'll try to leave this off on, on these cuts so you can see better as to what we're trying to accomplish here. Let's see if I can bring you in a little closer. Go. So we're running at 6,000 RPM on this cut.
position approximately maybe an eighth of an inch apart as I lay them across the width of the, of the cupboard that I'm making. That's it. Thanks for watching.